humans, I'm Yo Schiller. Welcome back to some more Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. I am taking on another story based mission today, but before I do so, I want to tap in my five daily amiibo consisting of my Link Super Smash Brothers amiibo. Alright. My Zelda Super Smash Brothers amiibo. Only two Amber! Come on, Zelda, you gotta pick up the pace here. Alright, here's my Link Ocarina of Time amiibo. amiibo. Then my fourth amiibo is just something random that I pull off the shelf. Alright, Big Hardy Truffle. And then my fifth and final amiibo for the day will be my Mifa amiibo. There we go. Kind of a weird haul. I like getting extra supplies, don't get me wrong, but I don't know how useful a whole lot of that is. I got the Savage Lionel Sword for tapping in my Link Smash for this amiibo, but dude, yeah, not even then, that's not super useful for me. Alright, here's the scoop. I'm gonna take on another story-based mission. I still have to get a bunch of supplies for some other side quests I haven't cleared yet, and hopefully this next story-based mission will allow me to get those supplies. For now, I would like to upgrade my characters, especially Zelda, because I get the feeling I have to play as you next, but if you're about to level up anyway, perhaps I can use that to my advantage. You know, she levels up in the middle of the mission, she gets three special gauges full right off the bat. Although, I don't even have to use her for this mission. I can use anybody, any four characters. In that case, maybe I should bench Zelda for this and save her abilities for a future mission. So for now, we're gonna have Link be in command, that's obvious. Master Koga, I only played as you for the first time in the previous video, but I did enjoy your gameplay style. We'll have Mifa go third, because, you know, she's my other favorite character to play as. And perhaps the final slot, then, should be Teba. Teba, I think, holds a lot of potential. I think there's a lot with him I have yet to understand. And at least just having him in this mission will level him up. As for cooking, I feel like I should cook something. I have no idea how long this mission's going to be. But I figure the safe option is probably to cook something that will give me more materials and maybe have me deal more damage. Let's see. No, I don't want elemental resistance. We'll do... Yeah, so material drop rate I think is easy, and then maybe like a damage booster. So damage plus 10. I think that's good, especially for characters like Tetba and Master Koga, whom I've only unlocked recently. I think this will be great. Alright, no apples beforehand, but I'll, I'll probably find some apples in the middle of the mission. For now, let's go to the Great Plateau! I'm actually quite excited to have a mission here. And look at this crazy combination of characters. Link, Mifa, Master Koga, and Tebba. I freaking love it. At long last, Zelda's true power had awakened. Even the Yiga clan, who had vehemently opposed the heroes, now joined them in strength. Finally, the people of Hyrule stood united. Just as hope had begun to shine, Zelda received an urgent message. Remaining Hyrulean forces were locked in a fierce battle on the Great Plateau. Heeding their call, the princess rushed immediately to their aid. All right. Our fight isn't over. We must hurry. I'm sorry, Your Highness. But it's too far. Even if we left right away. Blah, blah, blah. I just so happen to have good news to share. Go ahead, and behold! The tower! See that terminal over there? I used it to fiddle with the control unit, the one that's in the castle. And of course, I was successful! I managed to reactivate all of the towers. Impressive, right? Oh, yeah! Check it! Let's all hurry to the Sheikah Tower! Huh? Why there? <laughs> I also upgraded the teleportation functionality. Just like that? Now that's a feat. Well, to be fair, it's not all me. Thank the ancient tech built into our friend. Anyway, now we should be able to travel to any tower in Hyrule in a flash. Or to anywhere, really. <laughs> Let us go. Aw, yeah! I've been looking forward to this mission, the Great Plateau! So here's the scoop, folks. In case you haven't played Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, the Great Plateau is where you start the game. And one of the appealing factors of playing this game, Hydra Warriors Age of Calamity, was seeing some noteworthy locations from Breath of the Wild appear a hundred years in the past. 
I don't remember too many locations in Breath of the Wild, I'm afraid. And I'm sure that there are plenty of locations in Breath of the Wild that appear in this game that are not verbatim as to how they appeared in Breath of the Wild. But the Great Plateau? I mean, come on, that's the starting point of the game. And at least when I played the game and did my walkthrough of it, that was also one of the final points of the game for me, too. So, seeing the Great Plateau in Age of Calamity is quite a thing to behold. But first, let me fight you. Ice Moblin, you're so easy to defeat these days, I can ramble on about Breath of the Wild and still only barely get hit by you. I'll give you some credit. You did get a couple hits on me, but I'm gonna get a whole lot more on you. Give me that weak point smash. There we go. Alrighty. Okay, it looks like there's multiple points along the Great Plateau that I have to visit. Four, in fact, that explains why I have four characters. Well, I'm just gonna have Link tear up the southeastern side. Everyone else, you take care of the northwestern side. So Mifa and Koga, you go up here. I suspect Link can take care of this by himself. And then Teba, you go after this point. And I'll... I'll switch to Mifa right now. Alright, otherwise the Great Plateau is just... Well, I mean, it's a plateau. It's a big old platform with a bunch of different mini locations on it. Like, there's a little bit of a forest. There's, like, a little bit of a canyon. There's even a snow area, if I recall correctly. I wonder if I'll even have to visit all the parts of the Great Plateau on this mission. It could go either way. But the big thing of the Great Plateau is that there is the Shrine of Resurrection, and I believe that is where I am headed. That is where you actually start the game in Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. There's also the... The, 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 there's like an altar thing and there was also a house in Breath of the Wild where you could read journal entries from King Rome, Zelda's father, so that ought to be pretty cool but for now, I am Mifa on the Great Plateau, Age of Calamity is already providing opportunities for me that Breath of the Wild was unable to do oh, do I have to switch characters? I think I might have to switch right here alright, alright, alright Link, you can take care of this. Destroy all these enemies, fill up your special gauge, get all that glorious experience. Level 82, this mission better not be a problem for you, sir. It said the recommended level was like 49. Easy peasy. I got the Master Sword, I've upgraded it, I'm plenty powerful, and I've got three special attack gauges now. I'm ready to roll. The only downside is that I don't have full health, so I can't shoot my blade beams everywhere, but that's okay. There was a time in my life where I destroyed all of these things without blade beams. I can simply do that again. Look how powerful I am against guardians these days. Oh, I used stasis too late, so I wasn't able to use it while your weak point gauge was still out, but that's okay. I can still deal a pretty decent chunk of damage too. We almost got all your limbs off. There you go. There you go. No more movement for you. I'm going to take you down. I'm going to knock off those final few hexagon slices before you strike me. See? Link's got this whole portion of the map under control. It's two out of four sections conquered. And I'll go ahead and destroy a couple more enemies just to get my third special gauge on standby. And I got an apple! Yeah, let me let me break a few of these open. There we go. That's all very good. Very, 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 very good. Alright, we got it, we got it, we're good. Alright, that's three special gauges. Link, uh, I don't know, make your way toward this treasure chest, I guess? It's psyching me out that I can actually see all the treasure chests. Alright, I got that because I filled some sort of side quest on the map, like a, a two, three, four parts ago. Feels weird to actually, you know take advantage of that opportunity the the treasure chests i guess the game will keep track of how many treasure chests you get and i will try to get them all but i'm a little less concerned about showcasing all the treasure chest locations because there's an ability that just shows you where they all are i will get all the korok seeds though and i'll make a video compiling all of their locations when the time comes but as far as treasure chests are concerned i will just get them as i move along what the heck happened to my buddy okay whatever all right let's fight you Let's fight you, Fire Wizrobe! I got a special ready. I could use that, but you're just a Fire Wizrobe, so I feel like I should save it for a tougher enemy. Also, Master Kogo's here if I really need to save. But also, my specials are meant to heal me, so I'll save that for when I actually take some damage. So, all this to say, using my special now would be a wasted opportunity, and there are more opportune times for me to use it. Alright, there we go. Boom. See? Easy peasy! Love it! Fire Wizrobe, down! Three places conquered. All right, everyone go help out Teba. Speaking of, Teba, let's become more familiar with you, my man. If I recall correctly, you break my hands. I gotta mash the X button so many times. At least I got another apple. All right, so I, I do this, and then we just go, any, any, any combo, really, any combo. And then you just press X a bunch of times. So what was that? I think that was YYYX. Okay, I mean, as long as I'm not getting hit, right? I mean, I'm already, oh, there we go. Now I took a hit. Alright, so that's three, four, five, sorta. Okay, what the heck? 
I don't know what attack I'm doing anymore. Let me just do this. Oh yeah, that's right. Your Cryonis is a little weird. It spins around you, so you can even you can still get hit even when you are using Cryonis. All right. Well, I like this. I like this one. That knocks down the hexagon slices pretty quickly. I don't know why it ended. I was still pressing X. I wasn't done with that because it just has to end at some point. All right. So that there we go. That's so that's Y Y Y X. Very good. Missed my opportunity to hit you with Cryonis, but that is okay. I, I've already dealt a decent chunk of damage to you without using my specials, so I would like to hang on to my specials if possible. Let's see what I can do. Crayon is fine. I can do that. And then if I just mash the X button enough times, there you go. Boom, 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 so that's all four locations conquered. I was able to play as Teba decently well. Yeah, I think I, I think he's what I was looking for when I was playing as Rivali. I do like Teba's gameplay. It just hurts so much. Ugh. All right, everybody go over here because I assume that's where I'm going to have to go next, right? Protecting this area. Although it would be nice to get some of these treasure chests, right? So, I don't know. I don't know. All right. Where, how, how are you doing, Master Koga? There you go. I've been playing as everybody else. Let me give you a chance to shine. Sorry, just Link conquered two sections. So then I only left two other sections and I conquered those as Mifa and Teba. Let me use Master Koga to try and find one of these here treasure chests. And then I'll go fight some of those bigger enemies. So yeah, thanks to that ability I unlocked by clearing that one side quest on the map a video or three ago, I can now see where treasure chests are on the map. Whether or not the treasure chests will be useful to me is one thing but I will try to get whatever treasure chests I can as long as it's not too out of the way and as long as it doesn't make me fail the mission there's a good chance I won't get every single treasure chest as I play these missions I'll just have to get them on my own time for now Mipa how are you doing boom you are doing wonderfully girl love it love it love it love it let's defeat a whole bunch of these bacoblins because every time I defeat a bacoblin I get a bacoblin trophy and I need a whole bunch of bacoblin trophies to knock out some more of these side quests on the maps these days but also, there is a treasure chest up here. Let me go ahead and get this. I don't want to make this the norm, where I go out of my way to get a bunch of treasure chests. I will, however, get this Korok seed. I'm very glad I got that. Thank you very much for being here. I guess there is a perk to go after these treasure chests, because you might just find Korok seeds along the way. Very good. And this treasure chest has a scimitar of the seven. I don't think I've ever obtained a scimitar of the seven before. I hope it's valuable. Okay, again, not going for every single treasure chest that appears on the map right now, but if I am close to one and I have an opportunity, I'll try to go for it. For the time being, I still have a main quest to clear. I have to defeat these big ol' Henoxes over here. Or is the plural of Henox still Henox? I've asked this question several times throughout this walkthrough. I think it is Henoxes. Either way, I'm gonna take them all down regardless of whatever is grammatically correct. Boom. Then we stasis you, and we do this. Let's see if I can get those final few hexagon slices off of you, and boom! I did! I did it! Oh yeah, I am more than competently prepared to take on the Henoxes in this mission. Let's do it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I dread the day that I have to fight a gold Henox or something in this game. I don't know if there is one more rank of a Henox above this one. I feel like this is this might be as tough as it gets, unless we're counting the elemental Henoxes as tougher, which they might be, but for now... I missed my opportunity to get those hexagon slices down, so I'm gonna have to back away for a moment. Back away, back away. It is a fight. I basically got a bob and weave. In this case, I am, I am, I am maintaining my distance. Here we go. And now we do this. There it is. This Henox is down. Or now it's down. Don't want to call the shot too early. I can mess people up. All right, now the electric Henox. Oh, I think I was supposed to use a bomb counter there. That's okay. I have special gauges for a reason, and I have no doubt that I can refill my special gauges if I really need to. There are so many enemies on this map. Look at all those little red splatters of dots that are supposed to be individual enemies. Alright, this shouldn't KO you, but you get me pretty darn close to taking you out. Here we go. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Okay, and then Mipa, you wanna, you wanna finish this up? You got your special ready. Let's get it. Let's give Mipa some more action. There we are. Go, 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 follow through, follow through, follow through. And then we switch back to Link, and then I can use Stasis, just a little too late, whatever. Alright, and then, didn't even do my Tornado Uprising attack, I pressed X a little too late. No worries, no worries, no worries. Alright, Bomb Counter, of course! I can't do it right now because I tried to use Stasis and I blew it. Alright, Teba. Hi, Teba. You're a little out of the way, Teba. 
Uh, you know what, Teba? I'm just gonna go back to Link. Never mind. I switched to Link. Uh, if nothing else, I was able to dodge the attack because I switched characters. Oh, and I dodged that one. Thank goodness. All right, from here, I should be able to do the rest of this fight as Link. I'm overcomplicating this. I know I can defeat this Hinox as just one character. I thought I could, I could try to get other characters into the mix, and that just wasn't necessary. I'll just do it as Link. There. All set. So these Hinoxes are down. Where to next? I'll take on any and all Hinoxes. The Yiga Clan has started moving again. The Yiga Clan is on our side, right? So that's a good thing. All right, a Silver Lionel. Let's do it. Where he be? I am I am so ready for you, dude. Let's go. Let's go. Hinox and then a Lionel. This is nothing! Immediately getting a Flurry Rush? Don't mind if I do. Easy peasy. Let's go. All right, and... Oh, another Flurry Rush? Let's just keep at it. There we go. I'll go three for three. Let's let's get it. Let's get it. All right. Nope. 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 Okay. Well, I didn't get hurt. I, I didn't get a flurry rush, but you know, as long as I'm not getting hurt, that's what counts, right? There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Nope. No. Oh, I thought for sure I would have gotten the flurry rush there. I thought I was close enough. All right. Well, I settled for damage up. There we go. There's my third flurry rush. I settled for a damage booster and I settled for material drop rate bonuses. I did not go for flurry rush likelihood when I ate the food before this mission. But that damage boost, that'll definitely come into play. All right, let's get it. No, oh, frick, now I'm getting hurt. That's okay, at least got three flurry rushes on you and I can use my special. Go get him. All right, hit him while he's down. Link, you do plenty of damage, especially with that plus 10% modifier from the food. Tornado Uprising. All right, that's as good as that's gonna get. Oh, only one more hexagon slice to go. Okay, I could switch to another character, but I feel like it might be my best interest just to finish this as Link. All right, bomb counter. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Boom, just in time. And then that should knock off its last hexagon slice. Very good. And then, Teba, you want to do your weak point smash? You want to get in on this? Contribute a bit? Blow up the fountain while you're at it? Very good. Oh, I didn't do a whole lot because Teba isn't nearly as powerful as Link, but I can at least do this. All right, Teba, let's give you a little more action. That way you'll definitely level up by the time the mission is over and I can become more comfortable with your gameplay style in case I choose to use you more in the future. Alright, so there. I'm just switching to Link now so I can deal some extra chip damage while he's down. Then I can do some bombs. There we go. Kind of nice to have all four characters together and actually have me switch between them. That's probably what I was supposed to be doing, you know, throughout 75% of the game and I just haven't been doing that. But now I actually am. There's actually four characters with which I feel relatively comfortable. Oh, let me back out of that. Alright, I'm going in! Here we go, I can get this, I can get this, I can get the stasis. And I can get that last little hexagon slice off, very good. All right, and Koga, you wanna do the final blow? There you go, we've never seen you take down a Lionel. What does it look like for you? Very well. All right, awesome job, Koga. Making sure I take advantage of all my characters' abilities. Very good. All right, but the mission's not over yet. Now we have to head to the temple, okay? Link, we'll put that on you. You take you take the initiative. Head to the temple. Run on right past Koga here. And if there's a few more enemies I can defeat along the way, then so be it. That way I can get my special gauge full and be prepared for whatever obstacle comes next. Alright. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. All this and I haven't even KO'd 300 enemies yet. Wow. I mean, look, 298 enemies is still a lot, but compared to the other missions where I was KOing over a thousand in like three minutes, feels like nothing. Let me at least get the 300 KOs. There you go. I mean, I at least wanted to fill up my special too. And I probably could try to level up. I I don't know, but I, I think I'm fine. Let me just go to this yellow mark and see what happens next. Huh? Couple more enemies, fine. I'll take a few more of you out. It probably doesn't hurt to have a second special gauge ready. I have three of them these days. May as well take advantage of that fact, right? There you go. All right. Let's get it. Do, 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 do. Tornado Uprising, such a good attack for filling up my specials and KOing a bunch of enemies at once. And now we traveling. I'm going. I'm going up, I'm warping from the bottom of the shrine. And here we are! I am now in the Shrine of Resurrection, the very starting point of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Let's recreate that opening shot, huh? And now I can see the world! This is among the first things you'd ever see in Breath of the Wild. And the world would still look destroyed too, but it, hey, at least some of the walls are still put together. Yeah, look at this wonderful landscape, I love it. And it's very fun that there is a Korok seed up here too. Very cool. This is the great plateau that I know. And then yeah, you run around you run along the side here and I think this is another Korok seed right here, really? Yeah. All right, great. I mean, I'll take another one. I'm not trying to get every single Korok seed as I go through these missions. I realize the most optimal thing for me to do would be to get all the Korok seeds as I play them. But I'm just 
I'm just trying to play the mission and get a few collectibles along the way, but if I get some Korok seeds, awesome. I was not aware that there would be two Korok seeds so close to each other. I think the location of that one Korok seed at the Breath of the Wild opening starting point is funny. And you know, there's probably a dozen other Korok seeds around here, and I'm probably not going to find them. I'll come back and get them at a later point, rest assured. It is nice to get Korok seeds along the way. I might be able to clear one or two more side quests on the map because of that. But for now, I'm, if there's any other Korok seeds hidden around here, if I don't see them, I apologize. This darn Octorok. Anyway, what I was trying to say, this is the first location in Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. It's a little different than how it appeared in Breath of the Wild. There wasn't there wasn't a guardian up here. I don't think there are any guardian. Ah, uh, there are a couple of decayed guardians on the Great Plateau, but certainly not a Malice Guardian. That's a new one. And then, yeah, there's supposed to be a temple over here. That's where I'm trying to get to right now. All right, let me take you out real quickly. A Malice Guardian is nothing to me now. I'm so strong. There we go. Let me get a few extra slashes in there for chip damage, and then we can do this. Boom. Huh, not even halfway yet, but I'm not even worried. Here we go. Get that chip damage in there. Now I'm at about halfway. We're getting it. We're getting it. We're getting it. We're getting it. Now I can use my next special, and I'll probably fill up my next special gauge again while I try to take you out. And with any luck, I'll get some of your limbs torn off right here. Tornado Uprising. Slam on down. Get Stasis in just in the nick of time. Yeah, my reflexes are getting pretty good, huh? I can commentate while I do it, too. There we go. Boom. Weak point smash. Don't mind if I do. All right. Done. Very good. We get a couple of you guys defeated while I'm at it. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I don't remember if this little area is over here. If it is, it's not a place I properly explored. But this little shrine, oh yeah, I had to come over here. This is where I went, and I spoke to the king, and he gave me my paraglider, and then I jumped off this great plateau and started my adventure. I started my adventure here in Breath of the Wild, and I'm pretty much ending my adventure here at Age of Calamity. I mean, I assume there's still like one or two more chapters left. I assume I still have to go back to the to the castle. But for now, boom, there's that treasure chest. Love it. Let me make my way toward the center. Yep, this is the shrine as I remember it. A lot more well-structured here. And then how do I get inside? I guess I just wrap around here. Okay, good. Got it, got it, got it. Sorry. Just trying to pivot around the map accordingly. It's a well-structured location, but because I'm playing Age of Calamity and Breath of the Wild, I can't just jump over stuff. All right, here we go. Hi, Silver Moblin. It is quite interesting to be fighting enemies in here. This is normally like the one peaceful location in Breath of the Wild. You go in here and you get extra heart containers. But here, I go in here and I get extra money, baby. Let's go. Okay, boom. Let's do it. And hoppa. And that will take you out. Goodbye, Silver Moblin. All right, I am almost level 83. I could use that to my advantage. Is there like a Korok seed or something behind the statue? No, there's not. Because this is where you pray and... Do all that stuff. Okay, uh, I don't know what else it wants me to do in here. I already defeated the big moblin. If you want me to defeat all the other enemies in here, well, I'll, I'll do that. Easy peasy. Now, now there's four other marks I have to go to. Very well. Still gonna defeat all the enemies in here. Why the heck not? Break the boxes open, get some extra rupees. I could really go for some extra fruit. The game seems a little hesitant to give me that. And look at all the enemies down here. Crazy! Alright, I'll just have to take you all out and fill up my third special gauge, huh? I have to go to these yellow marks. There's four of them. So I guess that means it's one character per mark, ideally, right? So, you can go to that one. You can go to, that, I guess also that one. All of you guys go to this one, and then we'll just have Link take care of the rest, right? So Link, you can try to make your way toward this guardian. It will not let me, because I'm in a different part of the map, and it's blocked off. Yeah, that's what that little X is on the map. I couldn't really see the little X. I confused it for more enemies. So is Link just stuck up here for the rest of the mission? Just chill out here, Link. So I really have to do this rest of, the rest of this mission as the other characters, huh? Is there at least a Korok seed or something up here? I feel like there would be. As I keep saying, it is cool to see all of the stuff in Age of Calamity, but I feel like there's... No, okay, there's a bunch of enemies in here. I'll take all you guys out real quickly. It might be in vain, but if nothing else, I'll get a ton more Bacoblin trophies. Here we go. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. There it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Very good stuff. Nice! Okay, so where are the Korok seeds, though? And if I defeat you guys, like, can I clear this obstacle and get back down and help my brethren? Or just, I just have to stay up here? Okay, fine. Take you out real quickly. Magnesis counter would have been nice, but I'll just go on through and take you out real quickly. All right, good, good, good. We're getting it. All right, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Getting it. Nope, okay, one last little hexagon slice. I'll just chuck some bombs at you. There it is! And then I'll go ahead and eliminate you right now! Isn't enough to make me level up? No, of course not. 
What's gonna suck is I'm gonna level up after the mission's cleared, which is fine. I'll, I'm glad I'll reach level 83, but you really want to level up in the middle of a mission because that counts as a full restore. It's advent. It's more advantageous to level up in the middle of a mission than at the end of it. Ugh. Okay. Well, that's about, that's about as much as Link's gonna be able to do in this mission. Let's give Mipha a whirl. She still has her specials ready. Boom. Back to full health. Great. Okay, we're just full on knocking down this guardian. Awesome. Let's get it. Oh, great! The Eager Blade Master defeated the Guardian. Wonderful stuff. Alright. Well, I guess it pays to keep all these characters together. Let's take out the other three then. Uh, you guys go to this one. I am most competent in my Mipha gameplay, so I will have her go separate. Teppa and Master Koga, an interesting combination to say the least. I think they can work well together. Alright. So Mipha, you're gonna go up and you're gonna get this Guardian right here. Or is that the one I just had everyone else lock onto? Whatever. Okay, then in that case, let me go down here for a second. Let me switch characters so I don't get hit by the laser. Link, how you doing? Just chilling up here, being very close to leveling up. Yeah, you're good? You're good? Alright, you think that laser from the Guardian fired off already? I think it did. Let's just take in the architecture a little bit more. It's not its not so well structured as it is in Breath of the Wild. It's still pretty beat up in, in this game too. But it just still is pretty neat to actually see all of this. Can I climb to the top? Because I know in, in Breath of the Wild you can climb to the top of this and... You, you speak to the king, I guess, in this game. No, I can't do that. There's still just other enemies over here I can defeat. I'll go ahead and defeat them real quickly. Is Am I going to have to fight a boss up here as Link? Is there a Korok seed anywhere over here? No, this is all blocked off. I can't jump into the lake. I know for a fact in Breath of the Wild you can jump into the lake. You jump into, like, a ring of lily pads, and there's a, there's a, a Korok seed over there. But no, nope. all right. I guess Link really is isolated for the rest of the mission. Maybe I could warp back if I actually went back to the Shrine of Resurrection, but it's not that big of a deal. All right, Mipha, you go down here. Koga and Teppa are going to fight this thing. You've no longer got a laser locked onto you. That's good. You're going to go ahead and get this treasure chest. Is there a Korok seed down here? There is not. All right, what's the deal with this treasure chest? Giant ancient core. Don't mind if I do. I know that I occasionally need some of those to clear some of those supply-based side quests, and it's quite nice to get those because those are hard to come by. Very good, very good, very good. All right, now let's go back up and actually fight the Guardian like I'm supposed to. Fortunately, I'm not timed, and I don't think it's another one of those missions where it's like a tower defense thing where... You're the soldiers, like, lose health over time, then you lose the mission that way. I think we're good. Alright, Teba. If I mash the X button, can I just take out this Guardian super quickly? Hey, what the heck? What the heck? Hang on, try that again. Y, X. Right? There we go. Give me all that. Give me all that. You've got a big old laser pointed at you. Why is it slowing down? What's going on? Alright, I'm switching to Link so that you don't take damage from getting blasted by the laser because you can't get hurt, or you at least can't take significant damage if I'm not playing as you. So yes, I am kind of cheesing this fight. Yes, I am just constantly switching back to Link, fighting a bunch of the goblins up here that might amount to nothing. But, it will allow me to clear the mission more successfully. Or more easily. No matter what, it's going to be a success as long as I clear it, right? Alright, back to Teba. Trying to give Teba a chance. So I'm not just playing as Link and Mipha all the time. Alright, there you go. Mashing that X button. Take off that last hexagon slice, come on. There it is! Boom! Weak point smash. Not even enough to take it out. Alright, then we go again! Mash that X button! Here we go! Why is it why is it going slower? Ugh. Okay. Well, then we're gonna you know the routine. We're gonna switch to another character this time. Let's go to Mipha. Alright. Mipha is the strongest of the three characters I have here because I played as her the most and I just know her combos better. Okay, although I say I know her combos better, it's not letting me climb up the geyser. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Make it around, and we're gonna switch just to Link for a brief second here. Boom. You think we're good? Alright, there. One, one more Bokoblin has to suffer because of that. Boom. Alright. Let's get it, okay? Take off the last hexagon slice right here. Do the weak point smash. And smash this electric guardian in its little guardian eye. Very good. Okay. So that's that guardian. All that just to only be halfway done with the guardians. Two more to go. Okay. Work our way down here. And then I know there's a bunch of treasure chests all the way down at the bottom part of the map. I will get them. Maybe not today, but I'll get them at some point. For now, let's keep it moving. Getting the treasure chests is good because they allow me to get some supplies that make the supply-based side quests a whole lot easier. If I could get some more star fragments or something, that would be wonderful. But for now, all things considered, although Link's getting pretty beaten up, I'm doing okay. Mipha has full hearts. I think Teba still has a special gauge on standby. And I'll get Mipha's special gauge on standby too, especially since hers can heal stuff. So here we go. This mission's going to supply a bunch of enemies to me. I may as well take advantage of it. And the fire here already has a bunch of damage dealt to it. Very good, very good, very good. Let's keep it moving. Oh, back away for a second. 
We're okay. We're okay. There we go. All right. Keep it going. Almost at 600 KOs. 600 KOs. Very good. Not that it matters too much. I don't have any of those bonuses that make me stronger after every 100 KOs. I probably would truly benefit from getting that ability equipped. But for now, ah! Okay, let's go. Let's, oh, it hurts so much. Okay, we're okay. I'm just, I'm just gonna use my special now. That's exactly why I was filling it up. Deal some extra damage to you. Heal me up. Give me an opportunity to knock down those final three hexagon slices of yours. Use stasis. Boom. Go in for the weak point smash. Don't know if this will KO you. Almost. Almost there. Okay, we're getting it. And then only one more goal point to go. All right. Yeah. Lots of tough enemies, but lots of stuff I've dealt with before. Boom. Okay, countering you with bombs does a nice, decent chunk of damage to you. Oh, already half your hexagon slices are down. I love to see that. Okay, almost got that last little slice down. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ah! Oh, oh, it hurts so much after all that. After all this. Oh, I'm going to fill up my special gauge so I can heal myself. And now I'm at the lowest metal hearts I've ever been at. But I got the weak point. Smash. Oh, too much is going on. Got the Flurry Rush into Weak Point Smash. Boom. Fire Hinox is done. Very good. Alright, one more point to go. What do we got? Maybe I should take out a few more enemies and heal up one more time. Oh, and how do I, how do I get in here and get this treasure chest? Oh, this is... This is isolated. This is not connected. Okay. Well, even so, I can take out all these enemies real quickly. Yeah, I guess getting that treasure chest is a lot more further away than I thought. It looks like I have to go up a bridge to get it. Okay, then I'm probably not getting that treasure chest right now. But, there are boxes here. These boxes are, are just, they, they never want to give me apples. They never do. Thank goodness when you purchase the DLC, you can gain the ability to just buy apples before a mission. Because, man, these missions really just don't want to give them to you, huh? I mean, I got a couple in this mission, and I'm thankful for that. But otherwise, ugh, I, I need a ton more apples. Oh, boy. There we go. Okay, come on. Come on, let's get it. I got a special ready now. Let's have everyone... Oh, okay, can I get someone to go over to that treasure chest? That's probably good. All right, Master Koga! My man, how are you doing? Hopefully it doesn't take too long for a character to get to that treasure chest. Hopefully I can get it before the mission's over. Otherwise, I'll just have to get it on my own time. Alright. Silver Moblin, what's up? You want Cryonis? You got Cryonis. Oh. No, that didn't work as well as I hoped. You weren't really looking at me, were you? Oh, it hurts. That's okay. I like playing as Koga. I still have to adjust to his gameplay style, but I do like playing as him. Okay, we're backing away. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Alright. Almost got my, what's it called, super flashy beam ready? Almost got my beam ready. Okay, get it? Big glowy blast, that's what it's called. Go get it! Oh, it does so much to him, I love it. Okay, getting those hexagon slices off. Not all of them. And then, oof. Cryonis, there we go! Alright, finish him off. Get that last little slice off, come on. And then we do the weak point smash. And he's down! Alright! Okay, wait, is that the end of the mission? Really? The mission just ended there and then? I feel like I had so much more to do. Oh, then I guess I'm not getting that treasure chest. Wow, I thought there was going to be some big, powerful enemy that I had. I would have to fight. I mean, I fought a bunch. I fought Hinoxes and Lionels and whatever, but... The, the mission ended more abruptly than I thought. Alright. I mean, yeah, it took me 22 minutes, I guess. I just... I just was expecting it to take so much longer. And then, yeah, plenty of my characters leveled up. I gave Teba a chance. I gave Master Koga a chance. Alright. Alright. I should not complain about having a shorter day today, especially since the previous video. What was like two hours long? So, alright, we'll take that. I opened a fair share of treasure chests. I got at least a couple of Korok seeds. I cleared that mission relatively quickly, even if it involved me constantly switching back to Link and stalling time. I'll take what I can get. Thanks to this. This little thing saved me.
Your heart, your boundless compassion. With those precious gifts, you have saved my life. While I accused you of evading your duty. In truth, perhaps I was guilty of the same. Forgive me. That's not... <laughs> loved me. Everything you've done has always been for me. The burden, the heavy load you've shouldered all this time, from now on. Please, let me help you carry it. Zelda, you are my pride. And indeed, the pride of all Hyrule. With your power, I believe you will seal away Calamity Ganon. Now, let us rally our forces for a final push. Troops from all regions shall gather at Hyrule Field. <laughs> Alongside our princess, we will retake Hyrule Castle. Oh, the king is alive after all, huh? That's a fun little plot twist, and you know what? It's a cool opportunity for me to actually be able to play as him in this game. I felt like that would have been a missed opportunity otherwise. Very cool. Well, that was a very fun mission. It was very awesome to see the Great Plateau here in Age of Calamity, and I had an opportunity to play as four characters that I thoroughly enjoyed. I think that's my combination now. Link, Mifa, Koga, Teba. Boom! King Rome, defier of prophecy, the king of Hyrule and father to Zelda, he leads the Hyrulean army. He is intent on stopping the calamity and restoring peace to the world. Love it. Love it. So, things are getting crazy. We are nearing the end of the game, which means I'm going to be getting all sorts of ridiculous side quests to show up on the map right now. I will cover these side quests in the next video, and I will cover whatever I have access to. If there are one or two side quests and I cannot yet clear, I'll have to save them for a later time. There's also one or two side quests from the previous video that I was not yet able to clear. Can I clear any of those right now? I can! I can clear the Rock Hurler. So let me go ahead and knock that out real quickly, just because that's a previous side quest that has yet to be cleared. There you go, you Nobo. Now you get all sorts of extra stuff. Great! Thank you! Alright! I will clear the rest of these side quests, hopefully in the next video, or over the course of just a couple more videos. We are almost done with the game, folks! I have been loving this game, but I am ready to take on the final few missions of it. For now, I can't clear this side quest, and I think I had another one on the radar that I can't clear. Whatever. I'll clear all these side quests. For now, that wraps up this video of Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, and I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope to see you all in future videos. I'll take on these side quests, then I'll take on the final chapters of the game. Bye bye humans! Whoosh! Hey, thank you for watching my video. If you want to continue to support my content, the best thing you can do is like this video and subscribe to my channel. All you have to do is click the little buttons down below. Also, please be sure to follow me on Twitter to stay up to date with my video schedule. My tag is at RealYoShiller. I hope to see you all in future videos. Bye-bye. Whoosh.